Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon welcome, Booze. Welcome, everybody. How are you? Buddy? So today is Tuesday of our Christmas week. Hopefully you enjoyed yesterday's episode of our uh, Pecan Pie Moonshine. That's and pretty good. Hopefully you're enjoying our um, Advent Calendar videos I'm putting up. Some of the others have sent me videos, and I might put them together, but um, we'll see. Um, but I'm really enjoying the Advent Calendar I do every year, and I'm already thinking about next year's yeah, Advent Calendar. Yeah, kind of my wheels turning off. Yeah. So today we are, this Tuesday of Christmas week, we are going to go to the Great White North. There we go. We're going to the Great White North. We're going to do a Canadian whiskey, and this has become more and more popular as we, um, as it came out, and even more so, um, it's becoming one of those uh, rainbow or rainbow unicorns. I don't know why I said rainbow unicorn bottles, where people are really excited to get it. And this is the Caribou Crossing Canadian whiskey. Caribou Crossing is forty percent or eighty proof. It's aged at least three years, and it comes in at $60, $58.99. That's locally here. Uh, when Cody, who went up to Alaska, first got this, um, it wasn't really available down here, and now it is. <clears throat> yeah, because I never heard of it before Cody brought it back from Alaska. Right, and now you can get it in our local stores. Uh, it is an interesting tale. It's Canadian whiskey. It's Canadian grains distilled in Canada, aged in Canada, and then it's shipped to Kentucky to the Buffalo Trace Distillery and bottled there and then distributed. Well, and the thing with Canadian whiskey, it used to be Canadian whiskey had to be blended, but they changed that. Kind of. Kind of? Kind of. There's a lot of myth about Canadian whiskey um, that isn't necessarily true. Um, Canadian whiskey for the longest time um, got a lot of bad rap because um, the most popular ones were blended and they were cheaply blended with um, a lot of cheap stuff like grain spirits and stuff uh, but actually Canadian whiskey in general has some really strict rules and regulations and they do have single malts uh, Canadian whiskeys <clears throat> a lot of what you know about Canadian whiskey is not not true not true and the biggest Canadian whiskey distributor for a long time is Seagram's and Hiram Walker who have tend to have low I mean they have some really expensive stuff but some low budget you know ten dollar plastic bottle type of Canadian whiskey well and everybody loves us Seagram and Seven so it's like... yeah so these come with a cool little cork top mousse now we were discussing beforehand is there a different mousse for different bottlings can you collect them kind of like the Blantons don't know might have to go check that out because that could be a fun <clears throat> and expensive hobby but it's got this little I assume pewter moose up here kind of cool so I got a question for you and Cody have you ever seen a moose in the wild yes many times <clears throat> why I was just saying, because it was great when I saw mooses in the oh. wild. I think nearly every single trip I've ever taken to Alaska, we've seen moose. Mooses? I've seen them in Montana. They're, are they really moose? They're, the huh? they're not in the Great White North, so they're not really moose. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do our review. Mm. Smells good. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> What? Very smooth. A little bit of pepper. Not much. Just a tinge of it. Mm hmm. Okay, so. You ready? Mm hmm. What do you got? I ain't got nothing. <laughs> See, I told you. I thought we weren't rating stuff. We are rating stuff. That's what this show's about. This, we, we can wing it. Okay, so Caribou Crossing. What what do you think you're giving it? One, two, three, four, five. For aroma. I'm giving it for the aroma. I'm giving it like a... 
three and a half. Okay. So obviously it's a one barrel rating for price at 60 bucks. I also give it a three and a half. Kind of what you said, it's got some peppery, spicy notes to it. And that's the rye. Uh, one thing that people don't realize with Canadian whiskey is it's, it's all rye based or most of it's rye based. They have some single malts, but um, it's mostly rye. I'm giving it a three on the flavor because it's just kind of like, it's very neutral. Okay. I gave it a 3.5. I can get that rye and that, that peppery right. notes to it and some vanilla. With very the bite, little medicinal. The bite, I'm giving it a four on the bite. There's no bite. Okay. I gave it a 3.5. Yeah, there's no really bite, but it's got some spiciness that just kind of lingers back oh, there. Oh, a little bit of tingling on mm-hmm. your tongue. But it's not like... So... That's an 11.5 for me and 11.5 for you because we average out. So that's a three barrel rating. The cost is hampering. It's probably more of a three and a half barrel. So I'm thinking about giving it that little half barrel bump. Yeah, and I think because it's it's an oddity, it's like, well, look at this. We got to charge more for it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely got a um, kind of a, a bonus with the bottling. Uh, I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but it's got the caribou crossing here. It's got a little wildlife scenes. And it's etched like all around. Yeah. This would be a really cool decanter bottle. Uh, once it's empty, like an infinity bottle. Yeah. And I, yeah, that's etching. It's not like a sticker. It's right. etched. And so, like I say, you got the cool um, cork top. I don't know the significance of the blue. If they have different colors like some distilleries do for different things. Um, they do have a higher end cast range we'll have to look at. It's it's really good. Yeah. Overall, it's definitely a three and a half barrel rating. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. If you missed yesterday's episode on the Pecan Moonshine, make sure you catch it. Tomorrow, uh, Bree and I are sitting down and doing some Christmas coffees. Um, some really kind of cheap, inexpensive, but pretty good Christmas coffee. So you might want to catch that out. And then on Thursday, we have another whiskey to celebrate uh, Christmas Eve. And then on Friday, Christmas Day, we have a special cocktail for you to have. So. All right, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this, this is pretty, pretty good, good whiskey, yeah. All right, later. Cheers. <laughs>